Hey guys, it's Curtis Webby back in the shop working with the Crossfire XR plasma table again. Um, a lot of guys have been uh, trying to help me out, uh, figure out what's going on with my cuts. Uh, I've been having issues. It seems like I get like 10 to 15 minutes of good quality cut time and then everything just goes to crap. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, for instance, like what I was cutting last night, um, and you, you really notice it, it cuts all these letters on the inside first, but when you really notice it, it starts its piercing right here, and it like doesn't make full penetration for like 3 eighths of an inch. And then it finally dives all the way through, cuts all the way around, and then stops again right there, but you can't even pull it out. So I'm thinking, okay, well, the only thing that's changing is the air quality. It's probably getting wet. Um, so let me show you what I'm using, and then maybe you guys have any, some ideas for me. Uh, just a two-stage air compressor, nothing fancy. Uh, I do have this automatic solenoid that uh, drains air from the bottom. Uh, I think it shoots out like every 20 minutes, just a real quick burst. But it's running half-inch NPT pipe over this bridge crane. And then it goes to a couple different, goes to the hose reel. And I got another dryer there, and then it goes to some hoses and some more NPT pipe to another uh, water dump, and then a, another water separator. But if you follow it across, it goes over here. This is the one I use for the plasma cutter. It goes back up and then down. And if you follow this hose, it goes to one of these Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic. Uh, I guess this is a dryer regulator, um, and then output to this hose here that goes down to the plasma cutter, uh, the razor weld cut 45. <clears throat> and like I said, I get like 10 minutes of good, 10-15 minutes of good quality cut time, and that's about it. There are some more hoses that go, that black iron pipe that goes over there, all the way over here. There's another water dump and a water separator goes to this can crusher and then it goes outside to another like 20 foot hose reel. So that's what I got. Um, if you guys have any suggestions let me know. Uh, if you run a filled, uh, refrigerated dryer let me know which one works for you. Thanks.